guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, so this is going to be a bi-weekly reading, uh, Twin Flame reading for uh, December the 18th until January the 1st because um, it is the holiday so I will be spending that time with my family um, and I wish you all a wonderful holiday. Um, I probably will be doing a uh, December 21st portal reading since I did do a uh, December 12th reading um, so it'll give I'll be able to give you guys a little bit of an update okay so I got my cards here um, I think we'll do a divine partnership reading and I will just use my cards if I need to use clarifiers I have a little deck here or I'll pull an oracle card we'll see how it goes okay so um, a divine partnership reading is nine cards for the masculine nine for the feminine uh, two cards from the bottom of the deck. So this is just going to be a basic uh, divine partnership and I'll pull two cards um, as a message from the universe. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll actually pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so what? Oh my god, that's so awesome. So the 1111 card, the masculine got that for how he sees a connection. We got the Seven of Pentacles for what he's resisting. The Three of Pentacles uh, for his message from his higher self. Okay, for the past position we have, um, let's put the, no, let's put this here, uh, the Four of Pentacles, or sorry, the Four of Cups, the Five of Wands in the present, the future is the Five of Cups. Okay, and so a message from the universe, we have the Eight of Pentacles, his external environment is the Six of Wands, and what he fears is the Ace of Cups. Okay, and so for the feminine side, we have the Six of Swords for the how she views a relationship. What is she resisting is the Three of Wands. Okay, a uh, message from her higher self is the Knight of Cups. Um, the past position, we have the Nine of Pentacles present. The Page of Wands, Future, the Ten of Cups, very nice. Okay, message from the universe is the Knight of Pentacles, uh, external, wow, Four of Wands, very nice, very cool synchronicity, wow. Okay, and the Fear is the High Priest. Okay, so one card for the masculine as an overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles and... For the feminine is the Ten of Wands. Okay. So we'll start with um, the overall energy. So the Queen of Pentacles for the masculine. <clears throat> so this could be his energy. This could be the masculine feeling, you know, more connected to his feminine side. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's independent, who's motherly-like, very loving, um, very generous. Um, she is a mother figure, but she's also someone who is a businesswoman. She, could, she takes care of the home as well as looking after the kids. Um, so this is also the 3D Queen. Um, it's Earth energy, very grounded, earthy energy. Um, and the importance of this card is that she shares her wealth with all, okay? So what I see here is like a Christmas kind of energy. Um, you know, he could be in that spirit of giving and um, connecting, like I said, with his feminine side. So we'll see what the rest of the reading says. I may pull a clarifier for that. So the feminine got the Ten of Wands. Um, so the Ten of Wands is burden. It's being caught in the machine, working day in, day out, and just being exhausted. So the feminine overall energy for the next two weeks is a sense of um, exhaustion, burden, 
okay, and needing to put down some of those wands and take a rest. Um, and I think I remember this energy very clearly in last week's reading. So it looks to me like the feminine is going to be doing that. Um, we have the Six of Swords here, which is an indication of moving to a calmer state. Um, and the Page of Wands, which kind of indicates like this new beginning. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Let's make sure you got you can all see those. All right, so let's begin with the masculine side. First card out of the deck, 1111 card. So confirmation, twin flame connection. You can see the 1111 card showing up here over in the feminine side, but this is her external environment. So this love, uh, this soul made, this twin flame connection is being recognized by the masculine and is being felt by the feminine in her external and that's why you can see that ten of cups uh, the knight but let's not get ahead of ourselves um, so the 1111 card um, and this is how you views the feminine this connection as um, you know his true twin flame so should I pull an extra card or just leave it at that but yeah let's continue on Okay, so how does the feminine see this connection as the Six of Swords, which is, like I said, a nice thing to see. Uh, this is a movement away from that Ten of Wands energy. Um, so this is moving to a calmer state. Uh, this is making a decision to move away from something that's negative. Uh, and it's a very soothing, calming rejuvenating type of energy here so just for the heck of it I'm almost I don't want to make things too complicated but I do want to pull one clarifier for that I was, I was gonna say you know let's pull a clarifier for each card but I think that'll make it too complicated um, yeah so let's pull one little clarifier for the six of swords what do you mean by the six of swords spirit please is she moving away from the masculine or is she moving away from the burden? It is reality. So it is um, hearing the call. Um, it's a uh, spiritual connection. It's reflection. So she's looking at this connection and Realizing that there are some things out of her control is what I feel with this. She's reviewing, she's contemplating, she's thinking about things that may have happened in the past. And so what I see here is the struggle to maintain a calm state, you know, not allow fears to overcome her. And this, again, is a repeated theme, um, I believe, in last week. So, yeah, I see her being aware, awake, you know, aware of her reactions, and so this is a struggle for her in the next coming weeks. Um, but if she's able to maintain, it looks like this beautiful energy is coming towards her. Okay, so what is in his resisting position <clears throat> is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is waiting for the ships to return. This is also a contemplative energy. Um, you know, while you're waiting for harvest, uh, there's that phase, that pause, where you have no choice but to wait. You know that that payoff is coming to you, um, and so it takes time. And so you have all this free time to think about where you want to invest your time and energy next, um, where you made the mistakes in the past so you don't continue to repeat those mistakes. So it is in his resisting position. So let's just pull one clarifier for that. What do you mean by the seven of pentacles and resisting? Because the queen of pentacles does actually represent harvest, right? It's this feeling of success and abundance, stability. And so he no longer feels the need to wait. Now, he also has the Eight of Pentacles in the message from the universe, right? So there's a progression there. Okay, what do you mean? Peace is yours. So this is kind of um, like the temperance energy. 
uh, very, you know, balanced, um, very calming. It is <clears throat> having balance in all areas of your life. So what I'm focusing really on is this peace is yours in the sense that he's resisting feeling that peace, feeling balanced, feeling aligned. Um, so, you know, who knows? Maybe he just doesn't want to wait anymore. Something, you know, the wait is over. But we'll see what the rest of the reading says, of course. All right, so... What is the feminine resisting is the three of wands. So this is success. Uh, this is manifestation, thumbs up from the universe. And it's interesting how the, the thumbs down is in the masculine's present position. So there's kind of a mirroring here. Because this is in the feminine's resisting position, it's kind of like thumbs down, right? So she's not believing she is successful, that she is able to manifest, um, that she is able to... You know, this card is all about deciding to go on a spiritual path, um, live your true authentic life, um, be a, a light worker, you know, be healing, but it's also creative energy. Um, so this is being out of the machine. This is um, enthusiastic, creative, inspiring energy. And um, a thumbs up saying, you know, the universe is telling you you're on the right path, but for some reason you feel that this is, um, that you're resisting that. So, of course, yes, I'm going to pull a clarifier. What do you mean by the three of wands, spirit, please? Okay, so being a spiritual leader, um, community, and find your tribe, another word that's kind of standing out. So the, fe the feminine is resisting reaching out to her tribe to feel that sense of community. This is, card is also about partnerships. Um, so maybe, you know, she's feeling disconnected from the masculine in a spiritual way. Um, maybe she's not, you know following her spiritual path, really. It's different for everyone. Remember, this is a general reading. Okay, so um, his message from his higher self is the Three of Pentacles. So this is a firm foundation, very grounded energy. And again, you can see that being projected through the Queen of Pentacles. So for the next two weeks, it seems that um, the Earth energy as well as um, wand, which is fire, passion, creativity, and we got a little bit of cup action in there, which is emotions, is going to be pretty significant. Um, on the feminine side, I guess similar, but mostly she's in the wand and uh, cup. So the three of pentacles, firm foundation, but it does mean that there's still more work and effort planning strategizing that's uh, that's needed okay and we got that that energy of putting work movement forward and abundance flowing into the masculine's life um, with that eight of pentacles from the message from the universe so there is this outer you know 5d vibration that is encouraging the masculine to um, move forward in the 3d reality and maybe the wait is over for some um, you know, maybe he wants to start that new loving connection. Um, but again, there's this energy of him looking to the past, not feeling, you know, you know, the four of cups is turning away and then it progresses to the five of cups, which is mourning and loss. So there's this still this fear of having his heart heartbroken or protective energy, um, you know, wanting to reach out, wanting this connection very much, but it um, scares him, I guess. So let's go ahead and pull an Osho Zen because this reading um, sounds very familiar. Very Okay, so this one flipped up. So transformation. So this is the death card. So in the Rider Waite deck, it usually represents um, 
you know, death of the ego, transformation, metamorphosis, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis. But this um, card has a beautiful description, so let me just read that for you. Okay. A master in Zen is not simply a teacher. In all the religions, there are only teachers. Oh, wow. So remember over here, we got that spiritual leader, right? The reverse of that is, uh, okay, no, it's, it's feeling isolated. But yeah, finding your tribe, connecting, um, being a teacher. Oops. What am I pulling this for? I can't remember. Oh, I think I'm pulling it more or less just for the masculine side, but more for the, the three pentacles, I believe. Okay, let me just continue. Sorry. Is Mercury still in retrograde? <laughs> okay, so, um, Master in Zen is not simply a teacher. In all the religions, there are only teachers. They teach you all about subjects, which you don't know, and they ask you to believe because there is no way to bring those experiences into objective reality. Neither has the teacher known them. He has believed them. He transfers his belief to somebody else. Zen is not a believer's world. It is not for the faithful ones. It is for those daring souls who can drop all the beliefs, unbelief, doubt, reason, mind, and simply enter into the, their pure existence without boundaries. But it brings a tremendous transformation. Hence, let me say that while others are involved in philosophies, Zen is involved in metamorphosis, in transformation. It is the authentic alchemy. It changes you from base metal into gold. But its language has to be understood, not with your reasoning and intellectual mind, but with your loving heart, or even just listening, not bothering whether it is true or not. And a moment comes suddenly that you see it which has been eluding you your whole life suddenly what Gautam Buddha called the 84,000 doors open so you know that's that crown chakra opening up um, and so what I see here very strongly is you know that spiritual transformation that rebirth that that opening um, becoming the Buddha, becoming not the teacher or the student, but just being Zen. So I remember that was definitely um, a theme as well in last week's reading, being Zen. I remember reading that. So, um, you know, the we have the 1111 card there. It's blaring right in our face, right? So there is, I feel... A desire to be reborn and start a new life um, like it's like he's being called to shed his old life um, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is independent right who um, has abundance stability but at the same time she shares her life she shares her riches her seeds with all a lot different than the king of Pentacles um, he's more of a grounded father figure you know authoritarian kind of thing um, you know he finds enjoyment in having family around um, and he provides comfort and stability whereas this is more of a, a sharing of your seeds so I see him you know being reborn you know really connecting with the feminine and desiring you know to create a new 3d reality here for sure step out onto his own independence okay so a message from the higher self for the feminine is the knight of cups so this is your higher self telling you to move forward uh, with love, to offer your love, to give your love unconditionally. So this is courting, um, this is, you know, sending messages of love, just like the Page of Cups, but it's, it's moving forward on it. It's not just desiring to communicate and communicating, but to really 
be romantic and express yourself. So, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to just be for the masculine. It's give your love to all, you know, and just open up your heart. So the past position for the masculine is the Four of Cups. Um, so this is disconnect, boredom, stagnation, things not moving, um, not taking a cup of love, turning your back on love. Um, so yeah, this is energy that's coming in from the past and I'm sure it's true for a lot of twin flames, right? There's a runner, chaser kind of energy. So, you know, um, what I feel here strongly is that the masculine is still holding on to that, still identifying with this, the fact that he may have been the one that turned away or if she was the one that turned away, he still seems to be focused on that energy and it's still causing him to be closed off. Um, whereas the feminine, I feel that she feels disconnected from the masculine and she's trying not to be pulled into these thoughts, although she does feel that there's a great burden on her back, um, that mental, that emotional anguish and tugging that we saw the last couple of weeks is not here. All I see here is beauty, um, spirituality, groundedness, movement forward, and it's towards love. Okay, so the masculine needs to release the past, transform, um, let the past go and begin that new. Okay, so what is in the feminine's past position? Beautiful card, Nine of Pentacles. Very similar energy to the Queen of Pentacles. This card is also about a self-love. You know, the Queen of Pentacles enjoys the finer things in life. Uh, and so she pampers herself in luxury. The Nine of Pentacles is a sense of you're almost at the Queen of Pentacles. You're almost there. You're almost at the Ten. You've almost arrived. Um, but you have enough abundance flowing into your life that you you can splurge. Go on vacations. Get a massage. So this is a card of self-love, but this is also a card of independence, uh, financial freedom. So the feminine feels that she has succeeded in the 3D reality. She already feels that she has everything that she needs in the 3D. There's nothing out there that she, you know, desires or is, um, you know, she already feels like she has it all. So there's a feeling that she wants to pursue the spiritual aspect. Um, just one moment. Sorry about the interruption there. So yeah, this is, um, this card is also harvest, right? It is ripeness, readiness. So here we have him waiting for harvest. Here there's a little bit more work that's required. Um, and here this is harvest. This is attainment. So you know, maybe what the masculine is desiring is a connection with the feminine in the 3D reality. You can see um, this force building or groundedness or, you know, an en energy perforating from the 3D reality. It really seems to me like there is something's building. Okay, so what is in the masculine's present position is the five of wands. So I mentioned up there we have the thumbs up, here's the thumbs down. Um, so this is being challenged, competitions, uh, somebody disagreeing. Uh, so this is a card of feeling like you're not enough. Um, feeling that there's somebody stronger than you, that you have to compete. Uh, this is also obstacles, challenges, but they're minor. So these challenges are easily overcome. So he feels that he's being challenged at the moment, um, that there are things that stand in his way. Um, he's feeling regret. He's feeling a sense of loss uh, and disconnection. And a, f a sense that he wants a new beginning. He wants stability. He wants... Um, love, true love. What do you mean by the five of wands, please? Seek the truth, the crone, 
Um, so this is a card of not knowing the entire truth, that there's things hidden, being kept from you. Um, you know, so it creates anxiety and fear. You know, so he wants to know the truth. There are things that are gnawing at him. And, you know, unless he discovers those truths, he's unable to move forward by the sound of it. Okay, so what is in the feminine's present position? That is beautiful energy, page of wands. Now, I did want to also mention that with the ten of wands, the ten is an ending. This is completion. You're no longer feeling this way. So this is ending, you know, right now, and there's a new ten coming in the future. Um, so the ten of cups is the happily ever after. That's coming forward. Um, and the ten actually reduces back to the ace, and over here we have an ace of the cups. So we have mirroring happening. So the ten of wands is the completion, ending to this feeling. So now, you know, in the present moment, you know, the, the Ten of Wands reduces back to the Ace of Wands, so there's a new beginning, so this is endings and new beginnings. And here we have you holding that Ace of Wands in your hand as a page. So this um, is great news, great communication, you're excited about a new beginning. Um, this is embarking on a spiritual journey, so this, you know, could be you becoming that spiritual leader, you know, I see a lot of encouragement from spirit to do just that. Spiritual leader, thumbs up, do that, right? And do the thing that makes you happy. Look at the excitement on both of their faces, right? So there is manifestation. There is power. There is good vibrations. Marky Mark. <laughs> Don't know why that song came into my head, but... You know, that's what I see. That's the kind of energy that I feel in the entire reading. It's just this happy, dancey, excited, um, lovey-dovey type energy. So there's peace, harmony, um, and true love surrounding you and coming towards you. So yes, reason to celebrate. So this is the beginning of a new adventure that's more spiritually aligned. So in the future position for the masculine is the Five of Cups past was the four of cups so if you don't face your your fears your problems it will continue to progress you will continue to escalate along the you know the timeline basically until those problems are dealt with so we have two fives in a row so fives are transition now interesting enough we have the six of wands in the external environment so all that excitement and, and, and passion and, you know, um, cheering energy is definitely being felt by the masculine over there. So we have the five to the six, okay? Um, so you know who makes you happy. You know, you know, where that true love energy is coming from. So reach out, connect, um, this card is mourning the loss of somebody or something. It is attachments. Uh, and so, yeah, it's definitely something I don't want to see as a future outcome. So I'm going to pull a clarifier. I don't want to see the masculine as having heart broken for the next two weeks. What do you mean? So this is a closed heart. This is an open heart. This card only shows up when you're ready to receive love into your life true love into your life, but you can see here that um, there is fear. What do you mean by the five of cups? So clarity or decision made, karma, justice. So what I see here is a karmic energy of cause and effect. Okay, so whatever you put out in the past will come back to you tenfold. Um, here we, we see this desire to seek the truth about something. This, whatever this may be, may have caused the masculine to turn away in the past. Um, but something's been gnawing at him. He wants to know the truth. And here we have that clarity. Okay, and 
you know, it's a cause and effect, right? So what you put out, you get back. So the pain that you may have caused somebody in the past comes full circle and you feel that pain in your heart. Um, so this, you know, the only way to clear that kind of energy is to feel the pain, to accept the pain, to allow that energy to move through you uh, and release it. Okay, so what is in the future position for the feminine ten of cups? So happily ever after. Um, and she has the four of wands in the external. So um, message from the universe, send out that loving vibration and that will return to you, cause and effect. So the ten of cups is peace, harmony, peace within the family as well as within romantic relationships. So what I'm seeing here is just that Christmassy glow, right? You're sitting around the fire um, with your fami family and just enjoying the holiday season, dancing, you know, going out buying yourself some gifts, um, self-love here, right? And just being happy, not allowing things to, to pull you down, just being optimistic, full of love. Okay, so what is message from the universe for the masculine? Eight of Pentacles. So this, like I said, we got the seven there, the eight, and over here in the past we have the nine for the feminine. Now, for the feminine side, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight is a movement forward very slowly. Okay, and it's like the, he's walking very slowly towards this Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a, the exact same card as the Eleven Eleven. Um, so there is this desire to manifest this connection into the 3D. The Four of Wands is uh, the Twin Flame connection manifested into the 3D and you're you're sharing that sole purpose uh, together. So a lot of synchronistic cards have come together here uh, that shows the spiritual leadership combined with true love uh, and that those two aspects joined together into the 3D reality. So, um, yeah, very, very strong energy that the feminine is actually able to manifest. She knows this journey is taking a long time, but she feels that she's already arrived. And this is confirmation from the spirit that, yes, this is manifesting into your reality. Um, so Merry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> Happy New Year. Um, sorry, I don't really relate with the whole Christian part of uh, Christmas, so I do like to say Happy Holidays. Um, you know, just like that card that I read earlier, when you attach yourself to religions, um, you know, then, then you're attaching yourself to something. What you want to do is be Zen, right? There's nothing, you know, out there that, you know, nobody really out there who can teach you this. You are the teacher, right? You are the teacher. You have the ability to, to gather that wisdom, that knowledge on your own, and, and that's exactly what you're doing. However, you fear it on some level. Um, but you're being encouraged. Okay, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Sorry. So the Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. It means that you have built this solid structure. Um, and that you have abundance flowing into your life, but there's still a little bit more work to do before you reach that nine, before you feel that full stability and groundedness. So the message from the universe for the masculine is to continue moving forward, very similar like the night, one step at a time. Um, you are already the queen. There's a sense of you wanting to be the king or come together as a you know, the king and queen in the 3D. So let me just pull a clarifier for that card. What do you mean by the Eight of Pentacles? Normally it's the feminine that's so complicated, but we see the reverse is true with the masculine. What do you mean by the Eight of Pentacles? So, split mind, mental conflict, um, Yeah, being at a crossroads, stalemate. So the masculine, again, is going through that transformation. 
there you can see conflict happening within the present and clarity coming in the future but there's a desire to seek the truth um, and it's like he's being called to move forward in the 3d reality but again there's this you know split mind cognitive dissonance energy you can see that definitely he knows it's a twin flame connection but there's you know things holding him back okay so um, message from the universe for the feminine keep going one step at a time knight of pentacles my favorite knight you got two knights here and a page so the page is a new beginning the knights are moving forward with that new start so this shows that you've been on a journey for a very long time you are exhausted okay it's time to rest um, new beginnings manifestation good things are coming towards you so yeah take it one day at a time hang in there all right so the external environment for the masculine six of wands so again there's that excitement enthusiasm this is being the rock star being cheered on um, feeling like you're on the spiritual path right so you know within himself there seems to be this void this pain and on the external he feels this love external environment external right this is something he fears so it's almost like an external energy so yeah um, when he thinks of you uh, he can feel this vibration this enthusiasm this um, passion creativity um, and desire to move forward it's like he's being encouraged so the external environment for the feminine is the four of wands like I said it's, um, four of wands right it's 11 11 so that's why I made that card up, up there but this gives spirit an opportunity to play with the cards uh, and it allows crazy synchronicities like this to show up remember I said this is the external environment um, so we have the 11 11 card showing up as an external so the feminine on the 5d level can feel this vibration coming towards her um, and she feels that she already has this connection fully manifested into reality on the 5d and it feels like it's coming towards her in the 3d and if you doubt it listen to your intuition listen to the universe um, yeah okay so the mouse in fear is the ace of cups so this is a brand new beginning of love uh, so again this card only shows up when you've let go of the past you've healed your heart right you've let go of those wounds you've forgiven yourself forgiven others and that's clearly something you haven't done yet and that's why this is in your fear position you you're not ready you don't feel that you're ready there's something that's that you need to clear up about the past right there's these things that are holding you back and if you don't deal with them like I said the five of cups will help you to clear that energy so this is unconditional love right brand new beginning of love um, and what is the feminine fear is the high priest so this is being a spiritual leader putting yourself out there sharing your wisdom connecting with your tribe other people that are um, who have this wisdom right and then that way you build this sense of community um, safety like you connect um, and that's how I feel about this channel I mean I started it a year ago and I have grown so much spiritually as well as you know internally as well like I've gone through some major major changes you know just like speaking on camera I find this painful <laughs> you know I used to be painfully shy and I still am but I'm coming out of that shell and it's your support your love that is helping me to do this um, I really never thought this would even be possible so um, thank you guys again for that love and support and here's to the new year so 
be that light, shine your light, um, share your wisdom, connect with others, uh, and don't fear your, you know, don't hide that aspect away from, you know, others. So I made a connection between these two, and I can't remember what it was. Okay, it's gone. Sorry, guys. All right, so um, let's pull two cards from the Myths and Mermaids. So this will be a final message from the universe. For the feminine. Mermaid with the Golden Dragon. I swear to God, she got that last week. So weird. Because I do have tons of readings in between, so it's just so strange that we have the same cards kind of showing up. Stop. Green Mermaid Triplets. So I think this is a sense of having your sisters near you support. out of the way. So number three, yes, I'm sure Feminine got this last week. And that's great because, wow, synchronicity, right? It's that same beautiful, vibrant energy that's coming towards the Feminine. Okay, so Mermaid with a Golden Dragon. A golden beast did I spy while swimming aimless idling by what a treasure what a prize to capture my with my eager eyes a pet to cherish precious bright shining with sun such honey-eyed light good luck great fortune to adore i'll guard my golds forevermore a sweet young mermaid looks over her newfound treasure a tiny baby dragon his golden scales emit a radiance of wealth and prosperity as he nestles among the water lilies in the lake so the menias look forward to prosperity yeah, uh, so good news. Your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay off. Good news. Your hard work and careful planning are about to pl pay off. While it is exciting to contemplate your new success, it is important to keep in your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility, and if you're not careful with your money, it may soon be gone. Don't give in to temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investments. Instead, remember your long-term goal and choose a path that is consistent with what you wish to accomplish, right? Your long-term goal is the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, and this is the path that you take. These are the paths you take. Okay, so just the same, it's okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. So yeah, there's that splurging energy again. Look after yourself, um, treat yourself. So the nine. Okay, so green mermaid triplets. Away from the pack, apart from the crowd. <clears throat> Sorry. Strong and sound and honor bound. Independent and proud. Just don't forget your sisters waiting in the wings. The strength they bear. Support and care. They're here, they're there. They're everywhere. Separation strains but cannot break such strings. A sprightly green and black mermaid is flanked on either side by identical mermaid sisters. This inseparable trio is held together by a strong familial bond, presenting themselves as a united front against the worries of the world. So the message is you are not alone. There is no need to feel isolated. You have got your sisters by your side. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. Yeah, baby, and that's what I'm feeling that that emptiness, that loneliness, right? Your your twin, your sister, your best friend. There's that separation energy there. Okay, so even when they're not there in body, know they are in your mind and heart. Need an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, or perhaps a pep talk to cheer you on. You know who is you know who to turn to, so you don't need to hesitate to reach out. Oh my God, isn't that a crazy synchronicity, right? You know who to turn to, 
the six of wands i said that right you know that vibration that the thing that makes you happy right so don't be afraid to reach out um especially during the holiday season it could be um, a tough time for some people so you are not alone you know and if you need someone to talk to i'm here also um yeah all right guys uh, I just noticed I got 6,000 subs. It just turned to 6,000. So I love you guys. Thank you again for the support. And um, I hope, will hopefully be offering an offer, you know, um, a reduced rate of some kind um, when we get back from the holidays, so in January. All right, guys, peace. I will see you on the 21st. All right, cheers.